We're live from the Copper Box Arena in East London. Let's bring you the starting 11s. Hertfordshire Mavs first off, and we saw before the break Zara Ever uh, Everett and Razia Kwashi in our masterclass. They are in the starting seven tonight with uh, Lindsay Keeble in goal defence. I'm here with uh, Jess Thirlby. Jess, what do you make of the lineup? Yeah, I think it's interesting to see Kwashi in the back. I think that's because she'll come and hunt some ball outside the circle. Um, she'll come and win ball early, which is great. And Sophie Drakeford Lewis has, has been impressive this season, and actually it was here at London Live where she really began to get her court time, so it'll be good to see how far she's come. And uh, Kesia Grant in wing attack position from the, uh, from the Southern Hemisphere, of course, another lady from the Southern Hemisphere, uh, Megan Craig in that crucial goal shooter position. And uh, what strength and depth do they have here, and what game plan will they have? Yeah, I think Nader Hutchinson is absolutely key, but I think they're really missing Katie um, at the moment in terms of the goal defence position and the link between Austin and Craig they're gonna, is going to need to be broken down. OK, well, that is the Surrey Storm lineup, and uh, the countdown is on. We're just waiting for the players to make their way out onto the court, and I can imagine all the team talks have been done by now. Yeah, the, the players will very much be stood out there focusing now, maybe shoulder to shoulder with their opponents. OK, let's head to our commentators. Pamela Cookie's made her way there, and she's joined Caroline Barker. Thank you, Di. And here come the two teams. Pam, this is a, a journey and entrance that you've made many times. Here, of course, at the Copper Box. What's it like coming out? I say it's the greatest rivalry in Super League, and it is. These teams really hate each other on court. Oh, this is such a derby and such a fight it's going to be on the court. I think playing at the Copper Box is amazing. I love playing here. Such a great atmosphere. The crowd really get behind you, and they're so close to the court. Um, so tonight is going to be a real battle because not one of those teams want to come off the court with the loss. Not least, so many of those players have played for the opposition. Oh, yeah, obviously we see Nada Hutchinson there just tying her shoelace. She was with Mavericks previously. Now she's coming and representing Surrey Storm. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of love, but there's also a lot of kind of wanting to get their own back. Co-captain Vicky Joseph coming out. One of those players with real experience for Mavs too. Oh, so much experience there. In that goal shooter position, she just really holds that circle well. And her timing is really great in the pop-up. And we've seen with her partnership with Drakeford Lewis over the past couple of games, it's just building and building. And I think they're really enjoying working together. There's another key player just come on court, Lindsay Keeble. They stuck her in that defensive end. When you've got someone like Megan Craig in there and Katie Harris, she's the kind of player that gets in your head. Oh, definitely. Lindsay is a, a nickel, I like to call. She, <laughs> she's got a big presence on there, but she's also her experience in this team. She is captain of this squad, so they're looking that she can go in there, settle this defence, start from early on to show that Storm they're in there. They want a wall so that that ball can't get through into their shooting circle. Can we really be around 12 already? Seven more matches to clinch that final four. Mavericks, they've never finished outside the top four, up against the defending champions, Surrey Storm. Marshalling this one from an umpire perspective, we've got Jackie Meisen and Louise Travis too. And not only do we get that little bit of niggle and that feistiness on court, it's going to be fast-paced too. Those umpires got their work cut out. Oh, definitely. This is top-class netball. It's going to speed, power, athleticism, everything you want in elite sport is going to be on that court today. So, yes, as you say, the umpires are going to need to be on it to keep on top of this. There's that first centre pass then from the hands of Rose Morgan-Smith, vice-captain for Hampshire Mavericks, out to the edge of that circle. Interesting to see how both sides set up. Both wanting to get that quick transition through court, and Mavs already on the ball. Oh, great work there from Draper Lewis, just getting that front position, holding nice and strong, getting the ball and turning and putting that ball up. Wing attack, hand offside. The Storm are quick to get the ball straight back down the court, and Craig there with those hands just coming out to the sky to bring that ball in, even with two defenders on it. We saw when Storm were up against your side too. If you can keep her away from that post, that's the danger area, but what they've got and Katie Harris is, is someone else who's it's really key in that area and can deliver those shots. So key, as you say, yeah. If she, when she plays herself really well into the circle, she's still a threat to the post. So if they can't get it to Craig, then Katie Harris is there. Early error and the duck egg blue. Hands on the ball for Surrey Storm. Back through court quick movement too and that's what we can see from Mickey Austin and what makes it so easy when she's playing with Craig is she just gets the ball and she turns and offloads straight away it's almost like hot potato netball it's straight out of her hands as soon as she's caught it yeah if that was me I'd have gobbled, gobbled that one up <laughs> never made it in good take smooth from Storm great and that's what you were saying about Katie Harris there she's just so calm and it's unassuming but she works that front of the circle really well and she can shoot Wing 
Mavericks having to be patient. Morgan Smith snatched by Joseph. Mm -hmm. She wasn't letting go of that one. No, she pulled that right in. Two of them outside of the circle, but she took that ball offloaded and got straight back in. Fifth season with Hertfordshire Mavericks for Vicklin Joseph and doing what she does back there. Very key for the Mavericks team when she's on song and she can hold. She has a lovely hold in that circle, so the ball can just come in nice and easily. So if she can keep off. <laughs> and that's what they do. That's what they deliver to Megan Craig. And deadly under that post. Very deadly. As soon as she can get that ball under, as you say, that close Bouncing into the circle, the to the post, time. sorry, she will turn and shoot from there. The key for Mavericks will be to push her out from that comfort zone, get her to the edge of the circle as much as possible, because she won't shoot from there. Not actually push her out. Oh, oh, yeah, obviously, in, in the rules of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Have a bit of contest. <laughs> a fairly even contest at the moment at the copper box. Three plays, four. Early minutes of this one. Lees with that good pass. It's not just from Austin, it's not just from Lees too. They all work it around and know how to deliver that. Exactly, yeah. And it's so key when Mickey Austin and Georgia Lees are on it and they can turn and put that ball in. You don't you can't eliminate one player. You have to get both of them out of the game for it to work. Nice defense there from Storm to get that three seconds. Putting the pressure on. Making the question happen to Mavericks. But you do it, I'll do it, and back yeah, the other way. Exactly, another turnover, attacking contact called there on Georgia Lees. Advantage obstruction, wing attack. They were just pushing off as she was defense. trying to make her move. Having to work around again. Joseph came out for it, she'll do that. Offside, Movement wing across defense. the circle then. That was a lovely Inside feed across, across the circle. Best. Nice hold. Oh, great jump there on the shot from Nada Hutchison, just to put that doubt in Vic Lindros' mind. She was miffed she didn't get that ball first oh. time, actually. She was getting it second. Exactly. Advantage obstruction. Ooh, that one went astray, but please make sure she gets it. Equally so, Harris, and on the edge of the circle, and that little ball and popping, that's not been easy to do that all in one move. Oh, so, so good. Such great technique she's got there, just to be able to, and to make it accurate. Yes, you've got a nice target in there like Craig, but still, if that ball's not on side, it's going to be difficult for her to pull it in, or it gets intercepted by the defender. Relax again from Katie Harris, and this centre pass then for Surrey Storm. Oh, Nin yes, Kashi. She saw that early. She came out. She got a hand to it. She tapped it the second time and then was able to pull it in. One, two, three nibbles. I'm having that <laughs> and off she goes. Morgan Smith then with it. Can Mavericks make this work. There's Grant. Joseph again coming out for it. Back to Keeble. The old one, two. Edge of the circle feed. Movement then to get that ball in, but also to make that ball count. Really good. And it was nice to see. So we're seeing a little bit of a positional switch there from Joseph and Jake Lewis. So Jake Lewis going back into kind of players. It's a kind of goal shooter role and Victor Joseph coming in. Coming out, sorry. To be that playmaker on the edge of the circle. And it's working well for them. Getting a bit of telling off there. Me or you? <laughs> Oh, just uh, off the back. Nada Hutchinson again, yeah. Just unsettling mm. at that end. Then for Hertfordshire Mavericks. Advantage obstruction, goal attack and wing defence. Nice step there from Georgia Lees to draw a defender and then go, go deep for that ball for Mickey yeah. Austin. Yeah. It's a penalty. Yep, that's it. It's nice to see them keeping on. They talk to each other a lot, this storm attack. Just to keep each other on song, upbeat and confident. We saw that Contact in the, the warm-up too. Just egging each other on. Yeah. Third. It makes such a difference, just knowing that your whole team are gelled, you're at one, and you've got each other's back. Yes, Craig takes out two, meaning Harris had all the space in the world to make that one happen. Oh, such strength there. Contact, shoulder, 
Well, it's nice to see Maverick, so just getting in front of their defender, so it's getting that flat front ball. Oh, lovely shot. Lovely shot. Makes it look so That's easy. Great goal defense. Just 18 years old as well. It's far from easy. Oh, yes, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> but Storm so quick down the other end to then get their one goal back. When we talk about the rivalry between these two teams, mm. it's no more, more apparent than the two centres up against each other. Off the ball, there's plenty going yes. on between those two. <laughs> yep, yep, no love lost there. Each one trying to get the upper hand. Drayford Lewis is shaking the whole world off around her. So, such a good head for one so young. She's really come on as the season's progressed, coming up from the MPL squad and having to really step up in the senior team. Oh, lovely shot there, Katie Harris. So good, even the net didn't want to let go of that one. <laughs> Halfway through this first quarter, then. Four goals the difference. Oh, just not quick enough there. Sutherland wanting to go out for that intercept, but timing was off, and it made it easy to come back into the circle for Maverick. Clappers love that one. Oh, and there's one of those blows when we talk about centre to centre, body on body. Tidy up on the contact, goalkeeper. Yeah, tidy up on the contact, maybe a bit further up court as well. <laughs> Bodies clashing, everyone putting this out. There it is. Time. Bam. Oh. Yeah, just asking for the, the towel on court, where we saw that incident happen, just wiping off at any of that residue sweat. When you're playing so fast, oh. you don't want a bit of that on court, you go no, flying. Exactly, you don't want to slip up. That's where injuries happen, so great that the game was stopped there for that to be wiped down. But yeah, as you were saying, that commitment that both players have just to get that ball showed in the collision. Back on their feet, though. An easy old feed in and the easy old drop through the net. Nice there, really nice play. Just nice and simple, playing the front of the circle. Oh, take Georgia Lees and a nice quick pass. Shooter, shooter, and in the goal. Yeah, Tanya Hoffman saying that was all right. <laughs> That's what I expect from my girls. They should do it every time. <laughs> Movement again from Grant. Lands that well. Oh, the screen. Didn't quite see it first time, but it was great that the shooters popped out of it. They didn't hold it to be able to get that front ball. Jake for Lewis again there. That's 12 There's quick feet there from Quasi to get in front of Katie Harris, but again, Megan Craig just too big a target there for Lindsay Keeble to get up for that one. Contact, goal defence. Inside. Yes. Oh, a little bit too quick there on the pass. Didn't let it set up. It was the old uh, P roller then from Nada Hutchinson. Couldn't quite gather yes. that one. That's a technical term, Pamela. <laughs> Gonna let that one fly. <laughs> As she did. Oh, yeah. Pays off though for the home side. This is the first time that Hertfordshire Mavericks have called the Copper Box a home fixture. Normally that for Surrey Storm. Contact centre outside. Yeah, London Live is what we're used to playing in that competition. Contact goal defence. Yep. Obstruction goalkeeper. So we're just under five minutes left of this first quarter. The score goes 10-14. Storm with the advantage. Mavericks, though, for the moment, with the ball in hand. So much pressure being put on them, though, yes. from yeah. Surrey Storm. Definitely great defensive pressure there. Struck Still a tight center. one in there, even though four goals up. But with Mavericks with the ball and Vicklin Joseph holding nice and strong under the post, they bring it back to three. From Megan Craig, we talk about pushing her out away from the post, and that's where perhaps her range goes. But again, Harris is there. Exactly. Yep, it was there, but Harris was under the post, ready for that rebound, and we see her again on defence, yep. getting that tip. Though it goes to a Maverick sideline. Oh, oh, through the legs, lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> 
Again, another technical term. I'm bringing out a book. Oh, one in the face, too. Morgan Smith, as she came down, looked like facing her own player then with Drakeford Lewis. It's getting a little bit feisty down there. Oh, Mickey Austin, what vision. But Megan Craig really needs to finish that one under the post, but she gets a second attempt. Last match out, we had a, a couple of questions on social media at Sky Netball about Megan Craig and whether she should, with her height of six foot eight, be able to shoot just a bit further out from the post. But how difficult is it? Oh, I'm not saying you're six foot eight. But <laughs> I always like the small ones <laughs> in the circle. But, um, oh, God, I always love the short shot, I won't lie to you. Um, it is difficult to shoot from further out, obviously, because you're further out from the post. But, um, yes, with Megan Craig's height, you would think that close to the post that should be going in every time. Goalkeeper, contact on the ball goal. Hold time, goal defence, that's now a caution for persistent contact. Penalty storm. It's like the caution then given to Lindsay Keeble. Yeah, persistent contact, she's saying. So each time that ball's coming in, as we were saying, Megan Craig was getting that second attempt on the shot because she's getting contacted. So the umpire just trying to tidy that up a little bit and giving that caution to Lindsay Keeble because it does wear on you. Goal defences are getting it tonight, aren't they? One for you, one for me. Mickey Austin's just having a word with Sutherland saying, don't let it get in your head, keep yes. a smile on your face. You will hear Mickey Austin the whole game. <laughs> nice shot there, Jake and Lewis. Just bringing that calm back into the game. Yeah, felt like Mavericks needed that one. Oh, lovely there. Katie Harris drawing round the front to open up Megan Craig in that back space. You see her trademark one finger that she raises. I need to find out what that means. If I was this far into the match, I wouldn't be able to lift one hand. <laughs> yeah, it's physical. Just looking to tighten things up inside that circle as well. So I think there was more sweat on the floor. The girls are working really hard. So when you land, it's going to need something to mop it up. It's like Bambi on ice otherwise, isn't it? <laughs> Edge of the circle again. They're showing the nickname. movement. They are showing the movement, and it's really nice because they are keeping that rotation going in the circle, which when you do have to. So even though Victor Joseph is quite tall, she's still mobile and still agile. Construction goalkeeper. Craig works back for that one. She thought about it. She'll reposition herself. Meanwhile, Harris goes in, says, I'll have this one. Pops back off. Can she get it the second time? Oh, oh, I thought I, Mavericks were going to get I did as well. On. I did as well. And the crowd thinking that too. They do not like that one. Mm. Counts for nothing, though. The storm put it away. Vicklin Joseph out of the circle again. Contact leg wing defence. Penalty on the top, please. At the top, please. Williams' yes, leg center. nearly went over the, the head of Drake, uh, Morgan Smith then. Joseph splits and lands it. They need this one, Mavericks, as the clock counts down and she duly obliges. It doesn't, it doesn't disappoint you there, Caroline. So into the final 40 seconds of this first quarter, would you make any changes defensively for Mavs? See there, oh. Megan Craig just out a little bit further, overshoots on that shot there. So it's working. Um, it's work, definitely working, and they are putting that pressure on. I'd say that the scoreline is still tight. That's only a couple of intercepts, a couple of turnovers. Oh, and Georgia Lee's nearly get one for the Storm team, but it's still close. I'd, I'd say both defensive teams are putting pressure on. Last few seconds, they'll need to be quick. Grant gets it. They'll have to land oh, in the oh, circle. And Drake with Lewis, so assured throughout this first quarter. She didn't have long on the clock. She took one glance at it over the shoulders and put it away. And there goes the Hooter, 15 plays, 19. Intriguing battles, Pam, all over the court. Oh, yes, all over. We're seeing it in the centre court there. Um, we're seeing it in the shooting end. We're seeing a lot of body on body and people trying to get free. And we're also seeing it on the, the goal attacks, I think, have played really well in terms of their composure and their shooting accuracy. But it's too close to call now. It's only the first quarter, but it's going both ways. If you're good enough, you're old enough. Some of the Mavs players certainly showing that at the moment. They came out here with a fight and they are fighting to stay in this one. At the break then, 15 plays 19.
So we full-blooded netball at the Copper Box, but if you'd like a rather more serene affair, you can catch some football on Sky Sports Mix. Orlando up against Colorado from 8.55 tonight. Then tomorrow, Dominic team takes on Rafa Nadal in Barcelona at 3 o'clock. 15 plays 19 then. Hertfordshire Mavericks up against Surrey Storm. Looks like we might have some changes out on court. We said it was physical, Pam. We said perhaps they might have to change things up. We'll get confirmation of those changes in just a few moments, but it does look like Hertfordshire Mavericks have blinked. Yeah, they have wing attack position. We see Ash Neal coming on there um, to take over from Keisha Guan. I think maybe just to put a bit more height in that attacking end. Um, Scarlett Williams was doing a... A tight job there on Keisha Grant. Though she was quick, maybe I think maybe the, the arms and the height might be just what's needed. And Ash Storm's got a Ash Storm? Ash, Storm? Ash Neal Ash Neal. has got a bit of previous with Storm, is what I meant to say. Exactly right there. I'm sure she's had that Storm tattoo taken off. Here's <laughs> confirmation of those changes then. Mavericks are still seeing the same in that defensive end, Kwashi there at goalkeeper, goal defence, Keeble, Everett, the young gun at wing defence, Morgan Smith at centre, Ash Neal there, wing attack, Drake Valu is still at goal attack. 30 seconds, they've got to make a change, does it look like perhaps it was a scrap, is it a bit of blood? Yeah, it looks like a bit of blood. Uh, so Harris going off then, we were talking Rhea about... Dixon coming on there for Harris. Bringing on Rhea Dixon, you've got someone, England under 21. Yes real potential real future of the sport yeah definitely she's a real yeah young um real feisty real strong in that circle and when she turns to post she's got a lot of confidence on her shot oh Sutherland there can't quite get two hands on it couldn't make that one stick uh, which is probably a good job because it was heading towards Gale straight at us Caroline I'm here with Robin Broughton Robin you were four um, goals down after that first quarter what did you think the key thing to improve on was? On the run! Getting, getting really quick on the hands over the ball so that we're, you know, slowing it down before the big one goes into the girl at the back. Um, but there's a few things they could be doing on her as well. Um, so, yeah, just talking about tidying up there. It's all we need. We just need a few. Everything else is much the same, even. But, yeah, it's pretty hard. Arguably the toughest job of the evening, is it, for poor Razia down there? How, how, how do you feel she did cope? She's so young, isn't she? Yeah, I think she's going to be really good. She came out for some intercepts and things, but when you've got something behind you, she, you get scared to leave it, so it's a bit difficult. But no, we'll be fine. At the other end, Sophie Drake-Lewis has been so composed. Another teenager, she's 18. How impressed have you been under such pressure in a very tight game? Oh, she's just got it. She, um, she's got it. She's, she's got very good, um, te technically she's good, but she's also got a good mental attitude to it. I think um, she's going to be really good for English netball, actually. That's how what I think, anyway. It was 22 goals last time. Do you feel as a group you're far better than you were back in March? I hope so. That was one awful game. I couldn't believe that score. <laughs> Neither could they. <laughs> Thanks very much, Robin. While they're having that chat down on, on the bench, we saw another caution given out, Pam. Yeah, for Megan Craig there in the back, she seemed to be delaying play. Um, well, she got that intercept, but Megan got it in the hands and then took the shot, whereas it was a Mavericks ball. Maybe rattled a little bit. No, just a bit, yeah. In the rules of the game, she needed to just hand the ball straight over. But in her defence, she may have thought it was her ball. We see Harris is back on the court now, so it must just have been a blood call, and she's got it taped up. So Rhea Dixon goes back to the bench. Morgan Smith was doing press-ups again. That tussle's still happening in that central position. Yeah. Decision given Storm's way. Here says Hutchinson. Yes, please. Sutherland to Lees. Harris is back on then. Nice space there from Lees. Oh, but that ball, just a little bit too much on it. Harris couldn't get her hands onto it. So we saw Dixon had come on for Harris, but Harris is back on the court now. There's Quashi. Ashnil getting a taste of the ball. She's been real give and go and made her way right to the edge of the circle. And a lovely feed there. 
Joseph resets and gets the crowd going again inside the copper box. Four goal difference. Then we're seeing this defensive pressure from Mavericks and... And they get the call! Everett there, real well played. It was nice there, zoning defence in that end third and meant Everett was able to come out of that. It's like everyone had pressed pause on the skybox, haven't they? There for a pause and off we go again. Exactly. Keeble finds Neil. That was unorthodox from Everett, but did the job. Did. Penalty. Sends the storm, tidy up your obstruction. <laughs> Mickey Austin <laughs> just being told. Gives a little nod to the umpire saying, I hear you. <laughs> Not sure I agree, but I hear you. Yeah. Neil with it. Now a chance really for Hampshire Mavericks to pull themselves back into it. Nice quick hands there to Joseph under the post. So Mavs clawing this one back, 21-23. Oh, Mickey Austin and Keeble going shoulder to shoulder further up the court. The ball's not even with them yet. Oh, but she... <laughs> she thought she'd have a sniff on that one and Keeble gets it. Recycles the ball for Hertfordshire Mavericks. They were behind in this one, they've been behind in this one. This to draw it back to just the one goal. Comes hunting for it. Got to be safe with that transition. Neil finds Joseph. Lovely. Joseph, can she finish off the move? And Sutherland there obstructing that shot, but such lovely movement there from both players. Vicklin, in terms of how she positioned herself to get to the post, and that feed in. Back to one, and their centre pass. This to draw them level. Mavericks take it. Good hold, oh, great pass, great oh, take. Unbalanced, though, from Joseph. She manages to reset herself, though, and this to draw us level. We talk about the noise generated inside the cover box. Now they're roaring. Now they are, indeed, and that's what you want to see. You want to see this goal for goal. You want to see that power, that aggression, that people just fighting for this ball, for that position to take the lead. And we saw their Mavericks, those last three passages of play, just bringing it back on song. Harris, though, just came flying through. She was having that ball. She wanted it. And she brings her team back to one in front. The fake pass then from Joseph. She demands for her team to get back on their feet. She's raising those arms. She loves adrenaline. She does. She? she really plays off that. And she's trying to lift her team as well. Keeble just forcing Harris out. point at which we talk about what Keeble was doing, the influence she was having then forces the mistake, forces exactly. the error. Yeah, she, we saw her drop into the circle, not necessarily marking Katie Harris, but then pushing back out again as she entered. And that kind of presence that she has puts a little doubt and it forced the error. Nice front position there from Joseph again. Well, we've seen Hertfordshire Mavericks get that first goal on the board. We saw them fall behind and now they pull themselves back in front and their centre pass. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and Nader Hutchinson caught high in no man's land, leaving the baseline for Vicklin Joseph. Oh, and a bounce again from Joseph. She's got Tigger in her feet at the moment. She's pumped. She is pumped. Storm need this one back. So much netball still to play, but just a little swing. Going the way of Mavericks, some movement then from Craig. She does the lean but back. Footwork under the post. Gives the ball back to Mavericks. Advantage they've really changed up. Not sure exactly what they've done in defence, but Lindsay Keeble is dropping back, we're seeing now, to that 2-1-1 on, on Craig. And then it's Quashi we're seeing. Offside, centre. Oh, Joseph didn't like that. She looked at the umpire saying, where's the call? I didn't get the call. She thought that perhaps that pressure on her was unwarranted and unfair. Exactly, and then it meant she went offside when she lost her balance. Oh, got to keep playing to the whistle. Even though you might think it might be yours, you've just got to keep playing till that whistle goes. No whistle for her, but a goal then for Surrey there Storm. Is that. Oh, oh, OK. Was she right? I'm, I'm going to say as a fellow shooter, I think Nader did give a little help in the back there. A little. <laughs> it was on the blind side, though, of the umpire, so... 
Yes, you have to say, she didn't quite see it. Time to make amends for Joseph again. She had the second chance, falls into the lucky hands of Neil, though. Obstruction goal defence. Drakeford Lewis will sing this one. Yeah. Retribution. Yeah, I, I think I would go with that, definitely. That, yeah, it didn't seem like a nice take there. Centre pass for Austin. Surrey Storm. Advantage of traction centre. Lindsay Keeble coming out for that one, she tried. Wing attack. We need to tidy up the break on the centre pass. Okay. Off the ball there, we heard the umpire just saying there to Ash Neal. She's coming over the, the line a little too early. But it's good that the umpire's telling her what she's doing wrong so that she can change. Advantage, contact, goal defense. You'd rather that, rather they communicated with you. Oh, definitely. It makes such a difference because then... Oh, lovely there, Jake Blue, just to keep that ball in. Yeah, she had to work hard for that, just to make sure that error oh. didn't work. But when you talk about working hard, there's Sutherland Advantage with the old power pack. Yeah, she stepped it, covered it, and then came out for the top of the circle intercept, being Advantage able to put it to her teammate. But now Maverick's putting that defensive pressure on. And we've heard oh, oh, nearly oh. there from Rose Morgan Smith. But that is what happens though. If you do come out, you break the structure and it means that the ball can yes, come through. But on those other occasions when you get the tip, it's amazing. She hasn't taken it. Yes, thank you. There's a great face pulled then by Lindsay Keeble as she went to try and get that ball off Megan Craig like she was poking a wasp there. Didn't work though. Storm a back level. Oh, lovely there, Mickey Austin. That's what we say. Oh, but she gets the rebound, Harris. She just turns and pops that in. That confidence that I think Storm needs if they want to keep progressing. What they did in that first quarter was just let that ball go. Oh, we've been goal for goal. We've been three behind Surrey Storm. They nudged back in front. And again, those errors the pressure made off. <laughs> they don't Keeble like that. Did not like that. Lindsay Keeble, sorry. Oh, but she comes out. But no. It's getting fiery in that end third. Yes, centre. That was like the Duff Duffers in East Enders, that one. You, We're all well, hanging, but the call goes the way of Surrey Storm. Obstruction goalkeeper. Nice calm play there from Katie Harris. Just taking this thing out a little bit. That's obstruction, wing defence. Well seen, Katie Harris. Tidy that contact up, please go on the fence. Take one step in. Lindsay Keeble says, I'm trying. I'm trying to tidy it up. She's got to try harder. Harris sinks it. How impressive from Surrey Storm to have absorbed that pressure, to have been behind and then to have swung back in front. Yeah, it, so it takes character that, just to not let your head go down, to just ride out that wave, as you say, that pressure, and then push forward again. So difficult to see it, so difficult to, to put it off too, particularly when Mavs are so close quarters there. Yeah, definitely, it's not easy at all, but it's great to see that they have that confidence just to keep putting that ball Breaking, in. wing defence, centre third. <coughs> Hold time, wing defence, that's a caution now for persistent contact. Scarlett Williams there, getting that caution. So she's going to have to tidy it up nice. a bit. Yes. Oh, oh, lovely oh. hands, Nader Hutchinson. Not only is she quick at reading it, but it's, it's the force, the physical force she puts on too. Oh, she just generates so much power from so little. Yes, goal shooter. Oh, another miss there from Craig under the post, but she gets her rebound. The way she snatched that ball away, she's kind of disappointed with herself when she doesn't sink that first one. Yeah. Definitely, no shooter likes to miss. No shooter does, and so it's, it's good that at least even though she is, it, when she does miss, she's straight on there for that rebound. This to go five ahead for Surrey it's Storm and Megan Cray. Defense. And five ahead they go. <laughs> Nearly there, a tip from Nate Hutchinson. Oh, oh and she puts the pressure on. Big moment, but Neil's there to make sure her side have got it back in their hands. Morgan defense. Smith gets it, goes for the old fake give. Drakeford Lewis will take this one. Subtraction, goal defence. She'll have another go. Important goal, this one for Hertfordshire Mavericks. Ah! It takes an age, but it drops through the net. 29 plays 33. Time, you think, to get that 30 on the board. 
and get that ball off the Surrey store. Yeah, definitely. It's really great to see when they are playing that round the edge and they get it under the post, they then turn yes. and shoot and it goes in. But it's how they've been getting it to that position. Both of you, please. They need Either more side, opportunities. Both of you, please. The other side, goalkeeper. The whole time. Both of you are sided away from the shooter. Thank you, on my whistle. It's good there. Just taking control of the game. Just making sure they know in the second opportunity, this time the post helping out. And Hartwich and Mavericks have it. They've got a minute, they've got plenty of time to get down the other end of the court. Megan Craig right in the face of yes. Lindsay Keeble. Can they get this ball down? There's enough time, definitely. Victor and Josie comes out the circle. Come the circle. Just take their time. Obstruction, goal defence. Yep. <laughs> I love take this crowd. Crowd enjoying it. Whole time, goal defence, you need to set this side and away. Step one back, that's it. The innocent look, the step back, and Joseph puts it through. 30 comes up for Hertfordshire Mavericks and their centre pass. This time they'll need to be quick. Under 30 seconds. Whole time, goal defence, that's contact, that's now persistent, and a warning. Warning call then against Sutherland. Now she has to be careful. We've got that Obstruction, four stages, of course. Caution, official warning. Next up, a suspension, and you're off for two minutes. We've only got 19 seconds left, though. Lovely take there from Vicklin Joseph. And Vicklin Joseph brings it back to just a two goal difference. They were behind, they were in front, they were level, and now they're back to two. This will have to be quick. Can they get it into Megan Craig? Yes, they can, but there goes the Hooter inside the cover box. That one won't register, and Pam Cookie, both sides have snatched this, wrestled it back, and been that body on body. Oh, definitely, it's been so good to see. As you say, Storm took it out in front, but Mavericks didn't let Diamond die. They pegged it back, pegged it back, got it level, but then again, Storm put their foot on it and came back again. But it's only two goals in this game. Still all to play for. Well, we've had cautions, warnings, high-pitched voices, everything you'd expect from Super League Netball, and we'll have more of the same on Monday night when we roll on to the Rico. Wasps up against seven stars, Pamela Cookie. My team. It's a tasty one for you. Yeah, it's going to be a good one, I think. All friends, though, afterwards. Of course, of course. Very much like it is here at the Copper Box. Just two goals in it. 31 Hertfordshire Mavericks play Surrey Storm 33. Into this third quarter, then. The intense of those first two quarters. We'll see that again, won't we, for these final two? I think so, definitely. They would have had a little rest in that break, had a lot of talking from their coaches as well and able to talk to each other and then be able to come back out. We see a change in the Mavericks defence and Michelle Drain has gone to wing defence to take over from Zara Everett. Northern Ireland international, Michelle Drain, she gives you again that little bit of experience and, and that bite. Yeah, definitely. I think it's just to add again to that defensive pressure. Oh, lovely defensive play there by Storm. But couldn't Mickey Austin slaps her hands together, can't quite pull it in. Love how she plays with that smile on her face as well, yeah. Mickey Austin. Definitely, she's such an engine, she just doesn't stop the whole game. And although her and Morgan Smith have been playing it on oh, the thanks. edge, it's that kind of Thank contest you, yes. that you expect that, that we'll get when England play up against Australia, against oh. New Zealand too. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And that's what it is, that contest. You don't want it to cross that line where it does become contact. Um, but yeah, you definitely see the contest in the international Bounty game as well. So it's good that they can practice it. Oh, there it is. Contact, goal defense. She didn't even catch it. It just seemed to like just flow straight out of her hands <laughs> under the post of <laughs> her teammate Craig. Vantage break. Ridiculous netball. Swing Brilliant. 33 35, little bounce in to Neil. Takes that one. Joseph comes out for it. A lot of praise for Vicklin Joseph on social media. Yeah. She's doing really well for Mavitz there. And as you see, she's coming back out again to help be that little playmaker out the front when she needs to be. And then when and the other times. Oh, but Vicklin's there on the rebound. Giving her partner another opportunity. And this time it's Neil. Third time lucky. This time yeah. it drops through. Jake Lewis there, yep. Third time lucky, as you say, she puts it through the net. Oh, there it is, 
on pressure, and that's what we talked about half time. But she gets called for the contact. But she saw it. Contact outside. Contact against Drain Two. Contact on the arm keeper. A bit lucky with that because I don't think that Megan Craig was necessarily expecting that. No, don't think so. Back to two goals. Vantage contact, wing attack. Vantage obstruction centre. Patient play there from Mavericks in the centre third. Needing to be with that wall in front of them. Definitely, yeah. Storm have been very good in this passage of play. Vicklin comes out to help. Rose Morgan see it. Morgan Smith, sorry, edge of the circle. And Drakeford Lewis under the post. Just straight through from Drakeford Lewis again. And it's not easy, is it, when you have so much being implied upon you then? And there's the other ball through and Quashi. Quashi got it. This one. Craig deemed to be coming from behind and causing that contact. No expression though from Megan Craig over that one. Vantage obstruction, goal shooter. So they are having to take their time. And how difficult is it, Pam, when you are being made to work all the way through court yes. to then find that killer ball through? Oh, so difficult, especially as you get it to the edge of the circle and then it goes back again to the line. You have to then work again and it puts pressure. As we see, Storm now get that rebound. A little stretch out from Vicklin Joseph. Austin finds Sutherland. Harris gave the old yelp for the ball and gets it. Lees lands it. See, Linsky with there has dropped onto Craig and Quash is coming outside, out to play. Yep. Out the front on Harris. Oh, nice quick hands there from George Lee's defence. Didn't have time to set up. Again, the little dribble doesn't go through. Second time of asking, though, for Megan Craig. Yeah. She's getting her rebounds. But you'd really like to see her nail those first time. Swing of the ball there. Oh, nice triangle there from Harfisher Mavericks. And a lovely shot. Robin Broughton and the bench appreciating that one then. Obstruction, goalkeeper. Here, please. It's here. Obstruction, goalkeeper for playing without the ball. They're just so keen to try and keep them out and away from that post. Exactly, and that's what's causing Steam to be pushing Megan Craig as she's trying to find her space. And giving Harris the free shot. Goal attack. Back to two goals, but working it well, Mavericks. Oh, lovely elevation there from Nada Hutchinson. She read that really well. Oh, and Lindsay Keeble saying, if you can do it, I'll have a go too. Her tink twinkle toes didn't quite keep her on side, though. Goal third. Yes, goalkeeper. Advantage of structure, goal attack. Oh, Drain gets it. Great work there. Really nice positioning. And even though she couldn't get two hands on it, she patted it down. Yeah, read it a mile off, didn't mm. she? One hand in. So here those back-to-back -back interceptions. Nader Hutchinson first off, great upper body strength. Advantage Lindsay Keeble then coming center. out. It's like defence, as you said. If you can do it, I can do it too. Advantage of side. Well, one goal was in it, we're back to two. A little bit of a pattern developing, but we've seen Mavs, particularly in that first half, coming back from that too. Oh, and the little ball in. Risky from Neil. It, it was on for the first second, and if she'd given it straight time, it would have landed, because Nader was drawn forward, and Vicklin Joseph was free under the post, but because she delayed it that little bit, Nader was able to recover and get up for that intercept. Advantage offside goal shooter. Lovely there from Georgia Lee. Go defense. Go defense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Megan Craig with that kind of four inch advantage in that circle. It's a big advantage. If you can get that ball in the right place, nine times out of ten, if not nine and a half times out of ten, she should be getting that. Contact on the ball, go defense. But clever again from Katie Harris to take the visitors 
out to four goals. Centre pass, Mavericks. Yeah, we're saying Mavs coming back, but they just can't get that momentum to take them to level and then push forward. Storm are able, always able to just get that one back and keep themselves in the game yes, and keep this lead. Yes. Advantage obstruction, wing defence. Nice pass there from Ashneel under the post. Such agility, though, from Vicklin Joseph to hang on to that one. We've heard the thoughts of Pamela Cookie. Love to hear from you, too. You can use the hashtag Sky Netball or at Sky Sports to get in touch. Vantage obstruction centre. Nice play there from Storm. Just being patient, letting Kate Harris run that front to open up Craig at the back. Yeah, and Craig just appreciating the work from the rest of her team and getting that ball into her. Nice. You see, that's what you can do with that early feed into Vicklin Joseph. If you can draw Nate Hutchison forward, that back is on. Breaking goal defence. Storm. Centre third, over. Storm with the advance. Vantage contact and offside wing attack. Austin was offering, but Lee's opts to just ping it back into Megan Craig. And Megan Craig draws them further ahead. 39 plays. 43. Yeah, it's so difficult when you get that ball on the edge of the circle. And the call's going the way of Storm too. Exactly, yeah. Jake yes, Lewis there. Getting that call and Sutherland able to take the ball out. Contact centre, penalty. Centre third. Get the feeling Austin knew where that one <laughs> needed to be taken Contact from. Oh. Contact centre, penalty. Morgan Smith just sneak around the back, looked like a little bit of a basketball move then. Vantage obstruction, goal defence. Yeah, that one not quite allowed. Oh, nice hands there from Craig, just putting it into herself. Yeah, especially when that tag team was working on her, so difficult to shake them off. Yeah, definitely, two on one there. Vantage breaking goal attack. Oh, oh, can't oh. hang on to that one, though. No, that was nice play there from Mavericks. We saw Quashi come the front and Lindsay Keeble coming in late to get that back play. Vantage obstruction, goal defence. But again, on the edge of the circle, it's really difficult to get this ball off Megan Craig. But we see a timeout. I was about to say how long before they make a change, and it looks like Summer Artman, who was over working up a little bit of sweat, making sure she'd be ready to come on that court, and the change happens. Yeah, definitely. She's going to need to be ready as soon as she stepped onto this court. I think we were finding the ball was just getting in a little bit too easy into the storm shooting circle. Is it fair to say we were perhaps surprised that Summer Artman hadn't made the starting seven anyway? Um, I think Mavericks have been, yeah, playing different positions of different people in different positions in that defensive end. So I guess Royals are trying to just figure out what works best for what combinations. Um, yeah, she gave obviously Lindsay Keeble that goal defence start and kept her in there. Summer up and then on court. She's on her toes up the other end too, but Austin. Oh, just watching them two. It is feisty. She did the old hair whip, didn't she? Oh, with my Reached down, touch your toes. Every time you hear the oh from the crowd, it's normally involving Austin and Morgan Smith. Confirmation then of that change for the home side. I think what was working well for Mavericks earlier is that they were winning ball up higher, which was said right at the start they needed to do higher up the court before it got to that edge of the circle. And now Storm have found a way to peg their way through. Six goals the difference then, the change made by Mavericks. How will Surrey Storm react? Gales down by the bench. Last few minutes, Johnny, you just seem to have edged ahead. What's been key for you? I think at, at half time we said that we really need to go back to our game plan, which was to be man on. Uh, and attempt some of the intercepts. You were getting drawn into a bit of a fist fight there at times, weren't you? We were, but again, at uh, half-time break, we needed to be cleaner uh, and so not involve the umpires. So hopefully we can get through that. And what will be the message as you go into this final quarter? Uh, sustain, keep sustaining it. And if we've got a leg, then we need to be going ahead more. And you've had to almost use your brain as much as your brawn today, aren't you? Because of that ball being cut out earlier for Megan. 
Yeah, yeah but we're starting to get that back into her. I think it's really good. And what we're doing is trying to get the ball to the edge of the circle so we can get a good feed into her. Brilliant. Thanks very much. Good luck. Is it that time, do you think, it's, it's the side that's cleaned it up that's taken the advantage? Yeah, definitely, I think so. We, we're seeing Mavericks getting called for quite a few contacts and obstructions. Um, and then as we were just saying, they, Storm are able to bring this ball down to the edge of the circle. And it's a much easier feed once you're on that edge, especially to Megan Craig. So easy to get blown out of a game. It's about the composure. It's the composure that Sophie Drakeford-Lewis has shown throughout this match so far for Hertfordshire Mavericks. Yeah, definitely. She had a little wobble when we saw those three shots, but then she's really worked her way back into it and is now on song again. Yeah, doing that defensive work for a side too. Exactly. We love a defending goal attack. Yeah, you never loved that. <laughs> <laughs> Former England international, she's still got it in her, Pamela Cookie. <laughs> You saw them all go, no, not that one against us. Exactly, yeah, an unforced yes. error right there. Mavericks need to cut those out as much as they can. Oh, Storm, lucky there. Austin again down. Didn't see quite what happened with that one. No, I missed that one too. But Megan Craig missed under the post and contacts on the rebound. So Mavs get another chance. Given it was their centre pass, the feeling they need to connect with this one. Oh, Vantage definitely, contact, yeah. Wing defense, contact, wing Drain attack. was offering. Neil opts for Keeble. Keeble Ooh. with a long ball, trying to find Neil again. And yes. from Lindsay Keeble, you expect a bit of composure there, not to throw that one. Definitely, yeah. She needed to get her side back into this, and it just needed a nice, simple ball to get this ball down the court. But she over-egged it, and Ash Neil couldn't get her hands onto it. Austin with a, an angry little bounce then. <laughs> Wanted to get that one away quickly. This to make it 42-49. Point into her head. Lindsay Keeble's going to have a talking to. It's intentional instruction on the shot. Okay, you've been cautioned already, and that's now a warning. Official warning then against Lindsay Keeble. Two minutes suspension would follow, but Keeble will cut that out. Yeah, well, she's gonna last words. Yeah, exactly. She's going to have to if she wants to stay on the court. Yeah. Given this position, Hold they need all please. seven on court. Wing defence, caution for persistent contact. Tidy up the contact now. Caution against strain this time. Yeah, Mavericks are going to need to tighten it up, as the umpire said, across all positions in that defensive end. Obstruction, goal defence. This to bring the 50 up for Surrey Storm. Such a familiar court for Surrey Storm, of course. Netball London Live, but this time, Hertfordshire Mavericks making it their home court. And needed this one from Vicklin Joseph. Doesn't count, though. Too late, the who to beat them. Exactly, too late for that one, even though they did get that drive down the court, but it has been Storm in this quarter. They've been on it both defensively and in attack, and Mavericks were seen just getting called out of the game with their persistent contacts and obstructions. It was the buzzer that stopped them then, it's the whistle that's really done for them, though, in this quarter. Yeah, definitely. As I, say, as I said, just lots of people getting blown up across all positions, especially, though, in that defensive end, and it's just giving Storm those easy shots under the post or getting to the edge of the circle for the mid-quarters. Mick, Mick um, to be able to just put that ball in. Netball coach now on Twitter to at Sky Netball using the hashtag Sky Netball says, how unlucky are those non-calls yeah. for Hearts Mavericks? It's true, and we saw that first one in that first quarter, I think it was, where Victor and Joseph came out of the ball and got a nice little push in the, in the back, which the umpire didn't see. So we've talked about previously whether you can have both umpires being able to call things, and so maybe the other umpire didn't see it, um, because it was, but it was her end of the court. Sweets, Mickey Austin, share us a few. Di, can you pinch some for us? I'm here courtside, thanks very much, Caroline, with Jess. Jess, what did you make of that third quarter? Well, it was all storm, really, wasn't it? I think they really stepped up a whole level in their defensive effort. It became really difficult for Mavericks to get the ball through to shoot an opportunities, let alone through to the goal. Um, so, yeah, I think they've really just taken it up a whole other notch. Just to remind everybody that they are the Super League defending champions. They've won the title for the last couple of years. So there is, do you feel there's a lot of pressure then for them to stay in that top four position? I think there is a lot of pressure, and it's a, it's a little bit unfair because it's a quite different-looking 
likened the Surrey Storm side to the one that's won it the last couple of seasons. So there's a, a big reputation and profile to uphold, but it's a new team. Um, I'm sure they want to contest the league title as to most teams. So, yeah, there, there's a pressure, but I think, you know, new coach, new structure, new players. So I'm sure they've got their own objectives for this year. Yeah, they, they only retain five of the senior players from 2016. So a lot of youngsters uh, in the Surrey Storm that decide as we take a walk down the court, as we usually do between the third and the fourth quarters, it's really exciting to listen to a few of the conversations. And, and speaking of Hertfordshire Mavs, another young side, how are they, how have they been gelling over the past few weeks? Because uh, Gail spoke to uh, Robin Broughton and Robin said that the first game here against Surrey Storm was a, a disaster. Have they come on a lot since then? Absolutely. I mean, you only have to look at an individual like Sophie Drakeford Lewis. She was only put on court for the first time, I think, in that in that match. And then since then has, has barely been left off for her impact and the, the way in which she's developed over the course of the season. So if any if even if you just look at her, what an it what an advantage that they've gained in the last couple of rounds of matches. They are a young squad. They've already you know, the deficit this time round is already looking like it's going to be a lot smaller. However, it's just blown out to seven. They won't be happy with that. They, they really laid the gauntlet down in quarter two, and it's such a shame that it's blown out a little bit. OK, so if you were Robin Broughton, the scoreline is 42-50. Obviously, this is a home game for Harpersham Mavs, so they trail by eight. What would you be telling them? They need to be more clinical in attack. They're losing too much ball. And with a shooter like that down the other end, you've got to be more clinical in attack and keep winning ball outside the circle in defence. Lindsay Keeble, she's, uh, she's been given an official warning. What does that mean? It means that if she was to be considered to do anything um, intentional or dangerous play or persistent across any of the rules, then the next step would be a two-minute suspension off the court. OK, they're about to start the fourth quarter. Let's head back to Caroline Barker. I wonder, Pam, if those if those stats play it out for you, those differences between both sides. Yeah, definitely. Well, obviously, we're seeing both... Well, it's not obvious, but 80% shooting averages for both teams. So it's just the opportunities that Mavericks are get, Storm are getting, sorry, to score. So that's why they're at 62 shots and um, Mavericks at 50. So often we see sides blown out of a game. So it's about that composure for Hertfordshire Mavericks. We saw them come back in the first half. They've got the ability to come back in this final quarter. Yeah, definitely. And we're seeing Everett is now back on again at wing defence. And I think she did play a key role in their defensive um, structure in those first two quarters and allowed um, Kwashi to be able to come out for ball. So that changed my upset their structure a little bit, but now she's back on, so it'd be good to see what's going on now. First blood to Storm, though. A reminder already in this round, we've seen wins for Team Bath. Sorry, Pamela. Uh, sirens. <laughs> And Thunder, Loughborough Lightning play Wasps. Around about now. Contact shooter under the post. On court. I lie, sorry, I said Everett, come on, but still Michelle Drain still in that defensive end 30. But a nice intercept there. From Mavericks to bring this ball through. Summer Artman on the end of it and drain lands it nil offload into joseph advantage obstruction wing defense oh nice feet there from joseph just getting in behind nate hutchinson oh but she can't sink that one and that's the ones that mavericks are going to need if they're going to pull this game back and hutchins hutchinson turned provider then Gobbled that one and that quick transition, the feeds as well, smooth again from Surrey Storm. Yeah, so quick down that court and so much confidence there from Georgia Lees just to again put that ball straight up in the air. Okay, hold time. Centre, as a caution for delaying play, return the ball. <laughs> Mickey Austin there just dropping the ball down to give us up a little bit of better positioning. But the umpire picks that one up. Great expression again from Mickey Austin. And so often the unsung hero, Georgia Lee, she makes so many of those movements happen and so much of that happened for Surrey Storm. Yeah, definitely. She creates so much space in that attack and third for Mickey Austin to be able to drive through and be able to, uh, to put those feeds into great. But we also seen Georgia Lee's put those feeds in as well. So quiet player, but she, yeah, she's, she's not the hyped upness of Mickey Austin, but she's still doing damage work. 43-52, centre pass then, Mavericks. Great oh, take oh. again from Morgan Smith. Oh, but Sutherland says, I'm going to take that one away from you. Yeah. 
A little bit of rush of blood to the head. Needed just to calm and control that one. Oh, but nice play around the edge of the circle there. Oh. oh. Lost that one, though. A little yeah. bit of a slap of a thigh to unhappy with herself, Vicklin Joseph. Train against Austin. Yes. She's bounced back up again. So much energy still going from the first minute. Speaking of which, plucked out of the air, the old one finger in the air from Megan Craig. Get back to 10. Centre pass, Surrey Storm. Oh, nice play there. But Craig can't finish that one off, and it's Mavericks' ball. Oh, oh. Craig <laughs> keeps it on so often. Perhaps criticised for not coming out of the circle, not coming away from the post, but she made that one happen. Definitely, yeah. She was out there. She was putting pressure on that ball, and it fell into her hands and then to a teammate. Summer Hartman thought she'd maybe got a bit of joy with that one. Lots of cautions in this game today. Both centres now sitting on that caution. Both uneasy with it. Oh, it came off her shoulder, but she was quick to react and straight up for Mickey Austin to pick it up. Joseph up the other end. Comes back to Neil. Morgan Smith making things work again. Joseph will shoot from here. This time goes through. Nice there. Mavs just need to keep, keep in the game, keep ticking along. Contact, goal attack. But Storm seem on top of it, yes. though, don't they? They seem to be playing with a lot of confidence. She wasn't on top of it then. Oh. <laughs> Big appreciation from the Storm bench over the work rate then of Craig and the Harris. Drain makes it happen. Joseph again coming out for it. Wing defense. Nice there, take there from Jake for Lewis. But some of them has been having a really good game on her actually. Because coming in for Katie Holland with the injury there, so she's having to step up in this goal defense position. Um, but she's really kind of um, kept Drake for Lewis under control. Perhaps one of the contenders for player of the match. Replay called. Yeah, lucky there. Um, Drake Lewis um, replaying the ball, but then um, Sutherland, sorry, Drake Lewis not unable to take control of the ball, but then Sutherland replaying it. Another fall there from Rose Morgan Smith. But play goes on and Storm able to counter attack. 10 goals the difference here, six goals the difference in the Lightning Wasps yes. match at the moment. Who's on top? Love for Lightning 6, Wasps 12. Yes. Wow. Early stages of that one, though, just in the first quarter. <laughs> oh, nearly there. Nate Hutchinson seeing it. Oh, son of end again. But the whistle is blown and it gets pulled back. That's a sickener, isn't it? <laughs> when you're out there, you think, oh, I've done all that. Exactly. You think, just let me have it. Just come your way, and then the whistle blows. <laughs> Little look up at the clock from Lindsay Keeble. Ten the difference, eight minutes, more than retrievable, this one. Tidy that contact up. You get the feeling, does it yes. again, she'll be off for two minutes. Do you think? She's been watched. She's been watched. She's been called. Um, I guess it's up to the umpire's discretion whether it's deemed to be the same offence over and over again. Yeah. She's still got the official warning in her back pocket. <laughs> she can't skip that yet. No. Nope. She's got processes to follow. Yes. Just the caution at the moment. The Morgan Smith. Nice there. 
there from Jacob Lewis. So they're not letting it get any further away from them. Great goal attack, wing attack. No, but they just can't pull it back to start making this lead go less for Storm. Storm were being patient, but the error being forced then nice by Harper Jim Mavericks. Yes, Ash Neal is getting a tip. Oh, too quick there from Mavericks. They couldn't keep up with that pace. And it falls back in Storm's hands. Ah, oh, lovely play there, just drawing the defenders out, leaving it open for Craig under the post. She offloads to Katie Harris, puts it in. Six and a half minutes then for Hertfordshire Mavericks to give their fans something to cheer. Could this be it from Vicklin Joseph? Oh, that one just went out of her hand just too soon. Yeah, didn't quite get that power on it to be able to push it through. Little air ball. Morgan Smith opted to go backwards to come forward. Neil takes it again. This time, can she push it through? That time, just too much on it. I know, it's from one extreme to the other. Like Goldilocks. <laughs> Nothing like Goldilocks. <laughs> oh, hell ball. Now Mavericks have it. Now the crowd cheer. Here goes Joseph. This time it falls in. It was like the whole crowd was sucking that through. It was indeed. You always, everyone held their breath. You could hear it. Still time to claw it back. Nice for Mavericks, just keeping this ball up. Storm unable to find a way through. But it's oh. actually head to head that one with Drain and Austin. Little shake of the head from Austin. Apologies yes, to the well. cameraman as well. She knocked the camera out of his hand. <laughs> that one will be on Snapchat later. <laughs> Austin finds Craig again. She's done that throughout this season, not just tonight, exactly. but it's not an easy... It may look easy, but it's not always easy to find that way through. Exactly, yeah. And as you say, it's not easy to do, but what Mickey Austin does so well is that when she takes the ball, she's done the prep work beforehand, so she doesn't normally have a defender in front of her with those arms over. So that means she can just turn and let that ball go into the circle. Yes, we get time. Williams arms up and straight over Nada Hutchinson. <laughs> yeah. It's very flat pass over the across the circle. Contact, wing defense, outside. Better movement again then. From Joseph. Definitely nice. And it makes it that much easier when you can get that ball on the edge of the circle. But I think Mavericks might be making a change. But it might just be me reading the bench wrong. <laughs> Is this the point you would make a change? Is that what you're saying? I thought I saw Cat Rack and Parlour put a little T sign up, but maybe not. Megan Craig. As well with that one again. Time, please. Ah. I never doubted you, Paula. <laughs> never. Never doubted you. Sophie Hankin there coming on to replace Vicky and Joseph. Sophie Hankin, one of those Don't flair players. It's her fourth bed. season with Mavericks. Yeah, we normally see her in the goal attack position, but she's equally lethal on the shot. She has an unorthodox Five. shooting style. Well, it's accurate. So, Mickey Austin, who's arguably been one of the real star performers for Surrey Storm. Looks like she's coming off with that one. Is that a little bit of a, a limp as she walked across the court there? Oh, I don't quite see, no. But it means he has Parsons, though. Please, Another yes, year for her at Storm is yes, coming in in the centre. She's taken the ice pack, so maybe she might have got a little knock. Real similar players, similar ages as well. Yeah, Yaz is, um, yeah, she's been in the fringes of things for Storm. She's had a couple of quarters on the on court as well, so it's been nice for her to kind of get off. Oh, footwork called there again from Megan Craig. Well, this could make it interesting. Ten goals, the difference at the moment. Yeah. Three minutes left. Time. Oh, lovely, Sophie Hankin. Seeing the drive from Jacob Lewis. 
And there's always time when you've got Drakeford Lewis there under the post putting it away. We are back to nine and it's centre pass Hertfordshire Mavericks. Exactly. If they can nail this one, that's one step closer. Contact centre outside. Yes, Mav. Oh, lovely quick play there. Not what, letting the defence set up. And what you get from Sophie Hankin is you get that confidence, even if she's a bit further out, she will shoot. She'll oh, shoot you a goal. She will shoot from anywhere, anywhere at all in that circle. Eight goals are different. Need to keep it away from that circle. Doing well at the moment, Hertfordshire Mavericks. But there again, the killer pass from Harris as she's done again. Exactly, yeah. Very smart play there. She saw the defender's heads were down and just popped it to Megan Craig in that back. Two and a half minutes. That's Too long half. unless they're really quick about these Lovely transitions. Roll there from Sophie Hampton. She came out, got the pass, offloaded it, drove into the circle, did a lovely pirouette to get the defender on her back and take that ball. Another one off the list then. Just unable there, Mavericks, to stop this feed going in to Megan Craig. And Katie Harris, she's just been solid throughout the whole game. Just wet there when she's needed. Offload into Craig, pass into Craig. Oh, Hankin, <laughs> combining them with Morgan Smith. Obstruction, wing defense. Obstruction, wing defense Too obvious yep. to say, had this change been made earlier, things might be different? You never know, you never know. If spats and maybe. Exactly. Minute 30 left then, surely too, too much, particularly when you've got balls like that, and although that one dropped over from Megan Craig. Keeper, that's obstruction, that's our caution, the persistent obstruction. Artman picking up the caution. Yes. No one's really been on the edge of a suspension in this match, have they? They've done well to clean it up and, and he did those words from the umpire. Yeah, definitely. And I think you, you can say, though, the umpires have been really good in terms of just being clear on the calls that they're making, explaining it to the players so they can make changes. Here goes Hankin. Pretty much redundant, though. With the gap so big as it is, but they haven't given up, still had that fire in their belly. Definitely, yeah, and they're fighting right until the end. And Hankin has come on and has made an impact, though. But the ball going down the other end has just been over the mix. It needed a little bit of call, I think, there from the dude. Oh, that does not look Hold pretty. Time, but she's all right, she's up, she's she, laughing. She's got the smile on her face. I hope that wasn't one of her sponsors. <laughs> No, just looking down at any, I don't think there's any blood. Mickey Austin, who was off the court for an injury, is back up fixing the court. And still, she's still talking to Megan Craig. Direction for <laughs> off court. She does not stop. She can do anything, can Mickey yes. Austin? Well played. Enjoyed the takeout, she says. <laughs> Thank you, Megan Craig. Offside, Another one for the photo album. Hankin will shoot from here, and Sophie Hankin just takes maybe a little bit of the gloss off for it. Dying seconds then here at the copper box. They'll need to be quick about this. Go on, Hankin. I thought she'd have one from there. Oh! Craig for Lewis with a little layup. Doesn't pay off, and there goes the buzzer. 56 63. That's it. The battle of the box between these two Super League heavyweights. See Storm floor their rivals and the advertising <laughs> They really came out. That third quarter was really their quarter where they just stepped on their foot on the pedal, pushed it forward some more, and um, they were just the class act tonight. Notes, though, the... for Tanya Hoffman, particularly maybe Megan Craig under that post. Maybe they've got to change some things there. They've got a... I think there's limited options they have in that attacking end, and that will be what we'll see. So it'll be whether they can just make the most of that attacking end and those positions and being able to, as they've done in this game, keep feeding Megan Craig, keep having that confidence to keep putting those balls in. If a defender, a team can come with a defence that can stop that early, keep them off the edge of the circle that they were trying to do in those first half Mavericks, then we could see an upset again. So much then between the smiles of that Surrey Storm team. They deserve it. An eighth win of the season for Storm as they eye up that final four. Plenty of work for Mavericks to do to get there. Time perhaps running out, but not beyond them. It's finished here at the Copper Box. Hertfordshire Mavericks 56. Surrey Storm, their great rivals, walk away with a win 63.
Well, it's been Surrey Storms night. They've been victorious against Hartford and Mavericks here at the Copper Box. Absolute delight for Nada Hutchinson and her team. There's uh, Megan Craig, goal shooter, who was uh, instrumental in this victory. There's confirmation of the final score, 56 63. Of course, this was a home game for Hertfordshire Mavs. They played against each other on March the 11th and Surrey Storm victorious then. They've done it again. Let's bring you right up to date with uh, some of the scores from round 12. And on Friday night, we saw Team Bath uh, winning after four defeats, so giving them a vital three points against seven stars. Sirens convincing victory over Northumbria. Celtic Dragons, that was a close one against Manchester Thunder. Thunder still in third spots. We've just seen Storm win and Lightning Wasps. They're playing at the moment the latest. Wasps in second place in the table lightning in first uh, and what's the leading here is the table 33 points for lightning Wasp will what be wanting it uh, to go up to 30 with a victory tonight uh, Manchester Thunder there with 27 storm increasing their lead from Bath uh, to 24 so that's six points now that separates them and Hertfordshire Mouse losing out on those three points still in seven spots okay it's been a fantastic match this evening and Gail Davis is with our player of the match Thanks, Si. I am. I'm alongside Mickey Austin. And Mickey, before we talk about that brilliant victory, let's just do a medical check. We <laughs> saw you with a bit of ice on the Achilles. Yeah. We saw an advertising boarding and a Megan Craig coming straight at you. Are you OK? Yeah, yeah, we're all fine. Um, we're just fully committed, you know, right to that final whistle. We want to make sure that we're fighting for every single ball. And for me, it's just precautionary. We've got another game again on Monday, so just making sure we're all in one piece. Took to the third quarter, but what was the key for you? How did you go on and kill off that game? Just consistency. You know, I used to play for Mavs, so I know how much of a hard opposition they are and they never say die and this league's taught us that any team can come back at you right until that final whistle so we just need to make sure we stick to our processes grind out goal by goal center pass by center pass and think of it one structure at a time and that really paid dividends for us today in a sense despite how physical it was out there this was a victory about brains over brawn wasn't it sticking to game plans yeah definitely i feel like we go into every game saying how competitive and contested it is that's just the way netball is now and you know we definitely don't shy away from that we give as good as we get so it's great that it is is that physical nowadays but as you say it, it was about using your smarts out there you know Mavericks go for ball and they're really strong defensively so what can we do to combat that and I feel like we had beautiful strong drives across the court today which pulled them apart so that was really good on our attacking behalf finally when you start a season like you did six wins and then you do hit a bit of a wobble how much do you question yourself how much will today help you going forward and, and hopefully into those playoffs and the semi-finals yeah I mean one thing that our team is great at is we do have confidence and we do have an amazing self-belief belief we went into this season knowing that it wasn't going to be an easy ride and even though we did win to start off with we was never complacent and this league is tough any team can beat you on their day and we found that out really quickly but you know we have an amazing squad all 12 of us in it our coaching staff are amazing and as long as we believe in our little bubble that's all that matters thank you very much mickey well played you are player of the match congratulations thank you. Cheers, absolutely brilliant well played mickey austin fantastic she speaks so well as well you can see the passion and determination in her eyes she spoke at the beginning of the season saying that they wouldn't let up they wanted one of the top four spots how much is she the heartbeat of the team, Jess? Oh, she's absolutely critical. I think Pam was at Storm when Mickey, unfortunately, was injured for a long time. And I've seen this time and time again with players coming back from injury. They just take on board every single second because they're just so grateful to be back. Um, and I think she epitomises that. I think she's just maximising her opportunity with Storm this year. They obviously lost some players and it was a, a bit of a rebuild. But she's critical to that. She's part of that foundation. And her relationship... Um, with Megan is absolutely key to the attacking end and, and don't underestimate the work of Harris and Lees. Um, it's very easy to lose sight of those and as a unit they're doing a really good job. Yeah, her relationship certainly is key on and off the court, especially nearly being hit by one of those uh, big boards. <laughs> Here's uh, Megan Craig and uh, she was on song today. Pam, what was the work rate like for Surrey Storm today? Oh, it was just from start of the game to right to the end. They just kept going. I said, Mickey is the engine in that team. She's always jeering up. She's always talking to her team. But it's all about everyone being on it together. Even from Nada Hutchinson in the back, she's also jeering up from the defensive position as well. And they were all on attack, all on defence. So it was a real team performance there. And that's what we saw on court. They were all working for each other. And that's what you need. The body language, I have to say, seemed a lot different than last week. They seemed yeah. tonight that they, they came 
came out kind of they were smarting from last week and they had a point to prove this evening did you see did you feel the same kind of energy yeah absolutely because i think for all of us you know that things can swing within just a matter of days you, you win a game at the beginning of the week you lose a game at the end possibly against teams that you were backing yourself against and i think surrey have most probably seized the moment in the sense that they've got to hang on in there they've got to get back to knowing what works well for us let's get back to using that it's part of our dna i think pam's right they they can't rely only on Megan and I think maybe tonight what they did better than on Monday against Seven Stars is they just had a more collective team effort and I think that that's most probably driven it you know they've gone back to they've gone back to the drawing board and said what was it that we were lacking where did seven stars expose us and it's prepared them well for this contest today yeah they certainly picked up the pace this evening okay let's head down to Caroline Barker I don't know about you, Tanya, I'm blooming exhausted with that one. Yes, yeah, so am I, and greys are definitely coming out. Uh, I think we both passed every pass, shot every shot, and defenders right through the whole game. But I'm so really glad that we got through. Because you said it was important that, that they cleaned it up. Was that the difference, do you think, the whistle, in which side did clean it up? Um, I think both sides actually came out and cleaned it up a lot. Um, you know, we don't want to be the team that's always getting cautioned and warned against us. Um, so we just, yeah, we'll test the umpires as we always do, but know where the limits are. One area maybe we need to chat about is something we discussed last time out, which is in that circle, Megan Craig perhaps, some of the shots she was putting up not going through. Yeah, but I suppose the good thing is even if she misses them, most of the time she gets her own rebounds. So we looked at that last week and the last quarter. Uh, I think she missed about seven shots, but of those, she actually got four rebounds from that. So, um, you know, we're lucky to have someone of that height in there to be able to get those rebounds. And with Harris in there too, uh, I guess you've got things that you can change stuff up. Absolutely, and we've got two really good shooters on the bench as well. So if we find that it's not working, then we've got the ability to be able to bring those shooters on. Team Bath next up. Uh, yeah, another physical encounter probably that you'll, you'll experience strong defensively too. What will you be saying to your side ahead of that? Um, again, we're going to have to tidy up because the game against Bath last time wasn't a clean game by either side. Uh, so we've got to make sure that we've got our wits about us. Uh, things like driving towards the ball, I think we, is going to be crucial in that game on Monday uh, and releasing the ball quickly. Have you seen enough from your side to say final four, yes, defending champions can go on and defend it? We're pushing for final four. We've got a lot of big games ahead and we're not that far ahead, ahead of fifth place. Uh, so every game now is crucial for us to make top four. All right, Tanya, thank you. Go have a lie down. All right. I want. <laughs> <laughs> or she can have any soft beverage that she likes, but she deserves yeah, she deserves a lie down, does Tanya. She works incredibly hard. OK, Jess, uh, she spoke about uh, Megan Craig there, and when she's close to the post, we feel pretty secure, but when she's further away, we, we feel a little bit vulnerable when she's shooting, don't we? Why Absolutely, I think. Because it's just the nature of that style of shooter. To be fair to Megan Craig, people have been able to deliver the ball to her, I imagine, for years under the post. So unless you're trained, it's a learned behaviour. That's where she's always shot from. It's where the highest volume of shots she takes is from. So unless you're actually going to deliberately make her practice further out, then you can't really expect her to be able to nail it from there. But like, you know, like Tanya just said, A, she can rebound it. B, Katie Harris is doing a, a silent but deadly job on the goal attack. And she, her percentages must have been really high as well. So she's got the best supporting actress she could ask for in the goal attack <laughs> position. So they're kind of spoiled really down that end. Just thinking about the Super League table, they're in that fourth spot at the moment. And Tanya said, you know, there is that bit of pressure on them to, to keep, to hold on to that position. Yeah. Do you think that will play a part in the next few weeks and months? Oh, well, definitely coming back as reigning champions. Obviously, yes, the team is different and the teams are different throughout the Super League. But that's always so in the back of your mind. But yeah, you want to get in the top four and then you work to the playoffs. So, um, yeah, for them, it's going to be in the back of their minds, but they need to keep to the process. It needs to be one game at a time. You can't be thinking of the finals now. You need to get there first and, and that's I think what's going to be key for them and that what they will be thinking about. OK, a another big match is taking place right now. A Loughborough Lightning are playing Wasps and I believe that uh, Wasps are just in front at the moment. This is the score line. It is 26-31 to Wasps. So Tamsin Greenway will be absolutely delighted and 
They're in second place at the moment. Lightning, of course, undefeated, 100% record. So what do you expect from that match in the next... Yeah. How many minutes to go? I believe there's not long to go. There's... I think we're at half time, so we've got another 30 minutes to go. What do you expect from that, Jess? Oh, I, I think it's going to ebb and flow. I think Loughborough Lightning are smart enough. They've got a great coaching team. I think they've got the, the, the players to be able to draw that back and just keep asking questions of Wasps and vice versa. They were up early on in the game by 12-6. That would have been a bit of a shock for Wasps. Um, so I think it's going to be play out like that for the remainder of the game. And I, I know Loughborough won't want to lose, but if they do lose... That's the one thing that's maybe missing from them up their armour going into the <laughs> final semi-finals weekend. You know, because sometimes you learn a bit from that. So, Absolutely. yeah, I think I think it will be a great contest and one that we were expecting to be so as well. Yeah, and Tamsi Greenwood really has done a, a brilliant job setting up one of the three new franchises in the Super League. Okay, let's head again to Caroline Barker. She's with the Hertfordshire Math coach. Robin, was that a physical encounter you lost or a tactical encounter? <laughs> it's a bit of both, to be fair. Um, there were some tactical things that were, uh, you know, that we could put into place and, and they went well, like our mid-court zone was slowing things down and things like that. But I thought it was physical, yes, I have to say. Um, you don't sort of deliberately put the ball into people's stomachs. And do, uh, there were just things that I think netball has to look at timing. I'm not just saying this game. I, I see it a lot now. And I just think, you know, it used to be non-contact, really. And I know we've all toughened up, and we have, but it still has to, you've still got to be able to see the full skill of, of being out there because, as I say to the girls, mentally, you've only got three seconds to think, make big decisions in. And, um, and it is a skillful game, but now there's so much contact being brought into the game. The argument against that is, of course, when England go and play Australia and New Zealand, they face that physical encounter, so they need to be exposed to it in the Super League. I, I'd, I'd only say one thing about that. It, it, yeah, as you know, I've coached a long time in New Zealand. I think we're more skillful at the contact. It isn't actually just rambustus sort of bang crash. It's actually quite skillful contact. It's not. It's, it's just got more skill to it to me. Um, but that's just my opinion. And I do know that they find it hard. The, the Australian play really tight man to man. New Zealand plays much more space. It drops to man to man when they, they want to. You know that. Someone's telling us something. We've got to wrap it up. Uh, Robin, a real pleasure as always. Good luck with the next match. It's fine. Thank you. The, the next match um, on Monday was up against uh, Seven Stars. Where do you see that one going, Pamela? Well, obviously, with my stars. <laughs> um, we had a knock last night and we're looking to regroup and come back as strong and show the improvements that we've had over the, the season and show that last night was a, a one-off and um, ready to go again on Monday. So, yeah, definitely back in my team. Yeah, Jess, what kind of talent have you seen on display tonight? Oh, I think these two teams, it's a fantastic contest. Mavericks have never been outside the top four, which is a huge testament to them. And they're producing some fantastic talent. But what I loved as well is Sophie Hankin entered the game at the end. I think she's had a really tough season. She enjoyed a lot of court time at the start. And for her to enter off the back and not much recently and have that impact was great. But obviously by that point, the scoreline pushed out. But it, it was a fantastic display. I agree with Robin. There is a lot of contact in there. And it's for, for all of us collectively as a league, officials, players, staff to review season on season. But I think in terms of the intent, behind it people are trying the hardest very very competitive yeah okay thanks very much ladies it's been lovely to have your company sorry storm have come out on top we've seen one heavyweight bout here this evening i have a sneaky suspicion you're going to enjoy the next one on sky sports until next time goodbye for now Enjoy Sky Sport Live on all screens, on the go, and the best bits on demand.